Well, residents in the village on edge, a seemingly big, big bad wolf spotted in neighborhoods, residents flocking to the city's social media page. But that wolf wasn't looking for Grandma's house. Instead, the city manager says she was lost, and it took a little police intervention to get her back home. News Force Bria Berry picks up the tall tale from here. 7 8, we're on Bel Air, just north of half and our three little piggies are after this wolf. Once upon a time, there was a big bad wolf scaring people in the village. Okay, big and bad may be a tall tale. Dog was very timid and was not able to be caught. The animal spotted wandering across the metro. No huffing and puffing. But this wolf is a she, and she doesn't look like she'll huff and puff or blow your house down. City officials say she didn't make a sound. The dog was just sitting there <laughs> quietly and, you know, wasn't barking or, or trying to attack anybody. Just kind of seemed like it was lost and, and uh, needed help. The animal has a collar. Someone owns it, and they are probably looking for it. There are concerns on social media, like this woman who says wolves can jump pretty high, must have jumped the fence. Obviously, a little, unu little unusual that it is a mixed breed, possibly part wolf. Um, but obviously nobody knows for sure. It turns out this wolf is a hybrid. She is part wolf and part Alaskan Malamute. And she gladly accepted rescue from Oklahoma City Police. I don't think the public has anything to be concerned about. Just another loose animal that needs to be captured and get back, taken back to the owner. A happy ending indeed. The big bad wolf is in custody. Bria Beery, Oklahoma's News 4. No laws were broken. While it is against the law in the village to harbor a wolf, there's no mention of a mixed breed. So this wolf hybrid may be free to stay just as long as she stays in her own yard from now on.